How secure is connecting to a machine behind a router with SSH tunnels using a third machine that has static IP address? I found the article that describes how to access a Linux machine behind a home router with SSH tunnels. HTTPS colon slash slash Julian Simeone dot com slash blog slash how to dash access dash a dash Linux dash machine dash behind dash a dash home dash router dash with dash SSH dash tunnels slash how safe is such setup. I'm not an expert, so not sure if there are any pitfalls. My use case is almost the same as the author's Ubuntu desktop that I need to connect to. The desktop is behind a Wi-Fi router. External IP is dynamic. My Linux laptop from which I need to connect. I need to set everything up once due to dynamic IP address. I can get a Linux VM in a cloud with a static IP address. If I go with that solution, is it possible to use public keys instead of password authentication in such setup? That proposal opens a reverse tunneled port from the NAD system, the final destination SSH server on your LAN, to the world. It's clunky, if you want that sort of thing, just set up port forwarding from your router. The proper SSH solution would be to accept SSH connections on your public-facing system router and use it as a jump host into your network. Then you're as secure as your router's SSH. Plus, your NAD system's SSH, the port forward and reverse tunnel solutions have zero security for the router and rely solely on the security of your NAD system. After you've set up SSH open to the world on your router, which, by the way, should not Allow root to log into, or at least not without a key, you can connect like this. This will connect as username to the router, then immediately forward a connection to the LAN system as user me. Specifying a user as optional, it'll default to your local username. This is all performed from your local client's perspective, so if you're using SSH keys, which you requested, and you should, the private keys all live on your local system. Not the jump box, the router. This SSH jump host guide has some good examples, including how to use your tilde .ssh config to make it automatic, so you'd type SSH land system instead. To set up key-based authentication, on your local client my laptop, create a key, make an RSA key if ed25519 is unsupported, see that link, make sure it has a password on it. We'll get to saving the password with SSH agent later. This will create tilde .ssh, id underscore ed25519 your private key and tilde .ssh slash id underscore ed25519.pub your public key by default, which is fine. You can also use C comment about your key if you want something other than the default username at host. Now you can copy the public key to the jump box my router. This should be the last time you'll be prompted for your router user's password. This runs three commands on the router. First, it ensures you have a tilde .ssh directory. Then, it ensures its permissions are correct 700 is drwx. Finally, it appends the input to your list of authorized keys. After that, we're piping the public key via standard input think of this like passing a ball, you hand the ball to ssh and it instructs the remote system to hold onto it in that prescribed location. You should now be able to log in with the key, but let's set up your SSH agent first. There's a good chance you're already running an SSH agent, so let's just try it. If that worked, you're good to go. If not, you'll need to launch an agent. You should look into how to do this for your whole desktop environment rather than per shell, but you could just add a val backquote SSH agent s backquote to your tilde bash rc if you're willing to deal with having to run SSH add in each terminal you open rather than having it managed centrally. You should now be able to run SSH username at my-router and log in automatically with your agent's unlocked key. Let's connect to the NAD system LAN system now. This should look familiar. This will automatically jump through my router and request your me password for LAN system, then it will install your key. After that, you can run SSH J username at my-router me at LAN-system and log in seamlessly with your agent. Finally, you can shorten this command line by putting this stanza into your tilde .ssh config file. This will let you run SSH LAN system on its own. The username line is unnecessary if you have the same username. The same goes for the username at part of the proxy jump line. 